in this video I'm gonna show you what is dodge and burn and how to properly use it. So let's get started. Hey what's up guys Drill here and for this tutorial I'm gonna use this image that I found on devintart.com so if you wanna use this image the download link is in description so feel free to use it. Now first of all what is dodge and burn so let me give you a simple example about the tools so it will explain itself. So let's make a copy of this thing. I'm going to press Ctrl J and make a copy of it. Now here I have selected my dodge tool and because we can see it properly, I have set it on midterms and the exposure is let's say 100%. Now you can always like right click and make it bigger, smaller, but that is always pain in the ass. So to get rid of that, use your big bracket keys. They will make it bigger and smaller. So it's a fairly big brush. And now if I paint with it, as you can see, it is making the image brighter. So if I turn it on and off, the portion of this image has turned out to be super super bright as you can see here. Now let's check out the burn tool. So you already know what it is going to do. So let's keep it on the mid tone too to keep it simple. And then I'm gonna let's paint it here. So it makes it darker and it's, it's as simple as that. The dodge tool will make things brighter and the burn tool will make it darker. Now what is the beauty of this tool? Now when you are dodging and burning let's say you are making something brighter and then you suddenly want to make something brighter uh, darker i mean so you don't need to every time go back and forth between burn tool and dodge tool let's say i'm using my dodge tool uh, i'm gonna go here and start reshaping this ad so let's say i painted it here now i suddenly want to make this thing darker so i'm gonna hold my alt key and I think it's option key on Mac, but I don't know, I've never used any Apple computer. So I'm going to just hold my alt key and then I'm going to paint it here. So as you can see now, it's making it darker. And if I paint it normally, it's making it brighter. So you don't need to go back and forth, change it all the time. So that is one really handy tip. Now let's press Ctrl Z and make it normal. So you get the idea, like you don't need to change the tools and the dodge tool is fine. Now let's say I'm working on the highlights. So you have this really good options here. Like if you want to make something brighter, like I just want to enhance the highlights. So I have selected highlights and if I paint it here like this, you know what, let's turn down the exposure this time uh, to around let's say 5, 10%, 8% seems fine. And then if I paint here, as you can see, it is making the highlights brighter. Most of the time you will be working with the mid tones, uh, as you can see here, but it is also helpful. Like if I want to make the shadows darker, so I'm going to select shadows, hold on my alt key, and then I will paint here with the dodge tool. So it will make it darker. So this way uh, it is already like looking really good. So uh, let's see, uh, this is our original image. So this is where we are going to start. Now you get the idea how the tools work and most important thing always use protect tones. I think before CS4 they did not have this thing. So the protect tone option will help you to protect the actual skin tone of the image or whatever the color you are working on. So let's say it works something like this. Uh, I'm going to make the exposure 100% and then paint here. Now I'm going to remove protect tones and then I'm going to make it brighter. So it suddenly looks like I'm just painting with white color. This one is much better. So always use protect tones and it will help your image like the work process. So that's it. Now another problem with dodge and burn is like if I paint here at one point I will run out of the control Z or undos what you, whatever you want to call it. So I can always not go and press Ctrl Z, Ctrl Z all the time. So there is a way to use it non-destructively. So how do you use that? You have to create a new blank layer from here. And in that you need perfectly 50% gray color. And you don't need to go around play anything. Just press shift backspace. And here in the contents you have option of 50% gray. And hit OK. Now you can paint on this thing. So let's say I make this thing brighter, 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 brighter. And then I change its blending mode to soft light. Only the bright portion will show up. The gray color will not show up in the soft light. So you get the idea. So uh, I'm going to change its blending mode to soft light. And let's uh, select the background. And I'm going to turn on my protect tones. Uh, oops, <laughs> I don't need the background. We need to paint on this layer. Because uh, now if I paint on... Okay, I'm going to turn down my speaker. Okay, so uh, I gotta paint on this thing here now. So if I paint on this, uh, as you can see, it is still making it brighter and stuff like that, but it is on a different layer. So let's say if I mess it up and I wanna remove it, I can just always go back to normal, uh, select my brush tool, 
copy color from here and then I can just simply paint it over here and it won't even matter see I can just simply remove it like that so keep 50% gray as your color you can always hold down alt key and copy the color it's really simple so now let's focus on the dodging and burning actually how it works now it is one really difficult job to do uh, I'm not gonna lie about it dodging and burning is not easy so let's put it on soft light so first of all uh, uh, I'm gonna start by enhancing things so there is a highlight on his forehead and I want to make it brighter so how do we do that uh, I have selected my layer my dodge tool exposure should be around let's say five seven percent always work under ten percent because these tools are really strong and I'm gonna select my highlights and then I'm gonna start painting here just like it and at first it will look like it's doing nothing but uh, if I turn it on and off you can see it makes a whole lot of difference so let's paint here like that so that seems fine and then I'm gonna uh, change it to shadows and now this time I'm gonna hold my alt key and let's paint it here and make stuff a bit darker so that we have nice transaction and it looks really nice uh, stuff like that and for this kind of things I'm gonna make it smaller and then I'm gonna paint it here so we get rid of that highlight and then I'm gonna turn it on and off to show you what we actually did so now if I turn it on and off it looks like he suddenly applied a bunch of oils <laughs> or maybe suddenly his skin looks really really nice and soft uh, so this way you can like change things now it is a tutorial and let me show you the original file okay first of all let's keep it on normal so this is what it looks like whatever we painted now let's go back here and this is the file I showed you in the intro now let's change its blending mode to normal this is the amount of things that I had to paint and this is what we did in this time and that's not even properly done so you can get the idea how much time it takes to do a job like this now if you're a photographer uh, doing bigger bigger parts are fine and if you really need some incredibly detailed work I think you should hire a professional retoucher so I'm gonna put it on soft light and here it is now I'm gonna zoom in here on his nose now as you can see he has this kind of a patch on his nose so let's select this thing and then I'm gonna paint here and I'm gonna go to shadows and make the shadows brighter so if I paint it here a couple more times it should deal with the shadow properly again I'm saying the things that I will do will not be very very good because this is like trial and error you once paint it then you realize oh that's not looking good I need to paint it again so do it and don't complain about it like stuff like that uh, will get you like trying again and again uh, sounds ridiculous but that's the only thing you can do so now if I turn it on and off you can see that the toning of the scar or whatever mark he has on his nose is like really fading away and it will look really nice so let's paint it again and again here and then if I zoom out as you can see it is like taking care of it really nice and the same thing goes here so let's paint it here like it and then to make his cheek slightly darker I'm gonna hold my alt key and then I will start paint here and uh, if I turn it on and off you can see it makes a whole lot of difference and the same thing goes here so let's paint it here and as you can see I'm working on shadows I can turn on to midtones to for different effects and then I'm gonna paint here with holding down my alt key and then let's paint here a bit and then uh, let's touch here so if I turn it on and off suddenly it looks much much better let's do a couple of things here and there so this way you can use dodge and burn to enhance features and to remove uh, particular darkness and highlighted areas of your image same thing goes with the arms and stuff like that so I can make like a really crazy two hour video where I can retouch uh, this step by step but that would be super boring I just need to like show you bigger bigger parts like how it works out and most of the time midtones will do your job if you're a beginner and if you don't understand the mess uh, the experience will teach you <laughs> no one can teach you that thing so I'm just, uh, painting here I will do the most of night like, not the most of the thing the bigger bigger parts so that you can see how it's actually working and let's paint it here to make it brighter and then let's make it darker and then here and here and here 
you can do same thing with the like his hair I'm gonna paint here to make the highlights brighter then a bit here touch here here and then make this brighter so this way if I turn it on and off let's see it looks really nice and polished and the same way you can enhance his abs uh, his belt button and then the jeans and everything so there is only this like this is dodging and burning there is no cool secrets about it uh, about it like it's the only hard work and experience that will get you yeah things like using it non destructively is it is always going to help you and i use it all the time in my tutorials you can check out other videos if you want another thing let's say i did this and i want it to be really really strong so i can just press ctrl j and make a duplicate of it and suddenly it is really strong and ultra polished as you can see uh, parts here look bit unnatural so i can go here and then remove it from his forehead and suddenly it's fine see so now if i like let's say turn down the opacity you always have a lot of freedom once you do apply this thing and his this portion of the body already looks different from different from this one and you can same way do his clothings and whatnot it's totally up to you so that's it for this video i really hope you don't feel like cheated because i didn't do the whole job because that would take like two three hours and i can show this thing and show you the actual painting so you can like let's put it on normal and now uh, i'm gonna let's put it on full screen and then uh, you can see it properly like how I have painted things pause the video and check it out like how I did all of the stuff and then let me go out and then I just changed it to soft light and that's the only thing I did uh, no other secret things or stuff like that here and another important tip that I can give you with the dodging and burning this is the last one so let's say you're starting with the image and it looks really nice but you can always like press ctrl j and here in the image adjustment shadows and highlights here you can always have this uh, one uh, is midtone contrast to like give really nice boost in the contrast and then you can always like correct the colors uh, so that it doesn't look unnatural plus you can always play around with the highlights to make it brighter and punch in the shadows to make it even more glossy and stuff like that so now if I let's say pro let it process and then if I turn it on and off it looks slightly different and you can always like play around for the better effect as you can see see it looks a lot completely different like than what we did previously so this shadows and highlight option can always help you a lot if you are especially going for this bodybuilder glossy look so as I expected <laughs> there was little things to do and a lot of things to talk about because most of the time dodging and burning people think that there is always some shortcut or stuff like that but there isn't like there are a couple of tricks you can do that I will cover in future videos but most of the time it's just pure hard work and that's why most of the time people hate it and it is also really difficult to master. So that's it for this video. I really hope you liked it. If you have any question regarding it or if you want me to explain something in upcoming videos, you can ask me in the comments. And if you actually learned something, hit that like button so I can know you learned something. And if you want to check out even more Photoshop tutorials by me, you can click on any of these boxes and you can always subscribe. So every time I upload a new video, you will get an update. Plus it will take you to my channel where I have more than 70 free Photoshop tutorials. And always remember, dodging and burning, it is the most important in the retouching. So till then, goodbye, take care and have some fun with Photoshop.